you know, you always hear these things about what happens behind prison walls and you don't, you know, no one really says uh, that you don't, you shouldn't go, but they just don't say go. Uh, there were a lot of family members uh, of, of um, incarcerees that, uh, that never went and visited their family. And it was the whole thing about the prison, the reproach about it, the, the fear about it, the, you know, the, uh, the false idea that, um, that uh, what's down there is it's not good enough for me. And so I looked into it. We have a pretty, um, pretty developed program at, at our church for prison ministry. We have teams that go out um, multiple times throughout the month. So it wasn't a problem with uh, getting on a team, but it was the reproach with it. Uh, didn't really know what to expect. Uh, after the first time going uh, into the, the prison, into the, uh, the facility, um, you know, there, there's nothing now after going that can keep me out of there, to keep me from going and participating and mentoring and, and being a part of the men and women's lives that are in there. And through this, this initial, initial going into the prison, uh, there are tremendous things that started to develop. And so uh, for the last couple of years, I've been writing on, the, on a pilot program called Next Step Campus Ministries, uh, which um, is not a traditional transition house. It's more structured for education. Uh, it's talking with the guys inside of the, the prisons, the men and women. That was one of the, the, uh, the underlining things that they needed, and that was the three points that I saw was education, employment, and life skills training. They were, they were lacking in these areas tremendously. You know, if there's anything I have to, t to tell pastors or to tell um, the church or any organization that's, that's putting together a prison ministry uh, team or, or is wanting to put, a, put together a prison ministry um, or re-entry uh, transitional program, is to, to get some video, show the people what's out there. Let them see uh, for themselves that there's ministry that's going on, that there's, there's, there's transformation, that there's actual, actual forgiveness that is going on. The, the men and women that are incarcerated are waiting on us. They're waiting to be loved. They're waiting to see that people forgive them. They're waiting to see that we care about them. My name is Philip Brown, and I'm a volunteer for prison ministry. And I want our guys to stay out for life.